What's your name? Christopher. Christopher, how are you? How, how old are you now? 32, my friend. What <laughs> you were to me. What a little jerk. What a little jerk. It's not It's not as easy as you thought, is it, huh? No, no, it's easy. L- oh, life you. is, life is, life is gonna, easy? It, it, life I is easy? No, no, you know, it's... His dad and I are friends, mm-hmm. and, and uh, Uncle Dom and the whole crew, and it's one of my favorite hangouts. Joe Montagna loved it. How many meals did I have there with Gene Siskel? I have a theory about Gene Siskel. They're uh, over at Mr. B's. Their uh, their barbecue is bright, unnatural orange. It's it's a color you've never seen. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't exist in nature. And and uh, and Gene Siskel, remember Siskel and Ebert? Gene Siskel couldn't eat those things quick enough. I don't know, but I'm looking at him in the coffin. They got makeup on, and I'm thinking, I'm looking at the makeup in the coffin. I'm thinking that's the exact same color as Mr. B's barbecue. <laughs> Who else did I get? Joe Ahern and I, the TV executive, used to go there. Who who else? Who else did I hang out Ron with? Ron Jeremy. Well, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> the hedgehog, huh? He looked at that sandwich, the combo, and went, ah, oh, this is nothing. Uh, then he fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, then he fell asleep. He is an arcleptic, it's true. No, but I would go in here, and this kid, because I knew his dad, Mr. Beef, the greatest beef sandwich on the planet Earth. Yeah. It is a unique thing that we have down the street over in Orleans. They, it doesn't get any better than that. I like it dipped. They they dip it in the sauce, and then they load on this uh, this hot relish called a called yeah. a jardinera. Delicious. And uh, anyway, this kid, this kid, they made him work at 13. <laughs> you know, yeah. And, in the and, back. And, and 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 it was a certain you know. Hey, man, counts here. Man, count sucks, man. His show's no good. Oh, I never said that. I could I do better. I could do better. <laughs> I've never said that, that guy on the radio. Radio <laughs> sucks, man. You suck. No, 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 because his dad was like, hey, it's Mancow from the radio. Yeah, no, radio's for old people. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, oldie, oldster, here you go. Here's your sandwich. Man, you were a punk. But you've you've grown up nicely. You've got a wife now? I do. I hope you have the most, oh, I hope your children are, oh, my God. (laughs) Joe Montagna, his favorite restaurant on planet Earth. Am I saying his name right? Joe Montagna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jay Leno. His his, uh, David Mamet movie, he's in a movie written by David Mamet called Homicide. Have you seen it? Oh, of course. Of course it's, of course. oh my God, what a movie. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mamet, another Chicago guy, North Shore guy, conservative guy, mm-hmm. uh, broke broke with all the uh, North Shore Jewish folks that are liberal and shocked everybody. Wrote a beautiful book about David Mamet, who I idolized in college. So Mamet, has Mamet been in there? I uh, know. No, no. He's not, okay. No. All right. And, uh, but, but Leno, that's his big hangout, yeah, that's right? His big hangout. He's Absolutely. done a lot of TV segments Absolutely. in your place. Absolutely. Yeah. So is you too. Yeah. What? You too. Me too. You know, yes, absolutely. yes. So, so I mean, it's just funny to me when you were 13 years old, working there, dipping my sandwich, getting your knuckles in there, throwing it at me. Now that dad's out of the way and you're running the business, you actually have to be nice to people. How's it I feel? Do. It's changed. It's definitely changed. It's definitely changed. <laughs> you, would not have, you would not have believed this kid. You would not have believed this kid. Yeah. And, I mean, he, like this. Could I, could, I, could I get a little hot peppers? <laughs> oh, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is what this is a... I'll give you extra peppers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, my wife acts like that now, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. No, I just knew this kid. I went in there every day. I still go in there all the time. Okay? It's healthy for you. You live forever like Gene Siskel. And uh, this kid, this kid, and his dad was like, I'm sorry. You know, he's going through those tough years. Tough years? It's been 10 years. The kid's a jerk to me every time I've been here. <laughs> so finally now, I get you to get to put you on TV and put you on the spot. So. Okay. I'm I don't here. know. I, I like uh, Alpine and Johnny's. Is pri- I mean, the, the Alpine subs at Johnny's are pretty good, but uh, there's nothing like a Mr. Beef. Thank you. Yeah. There's Skatchel's, too. You What's that? Skatchel's Beef? Yeah, I, I still think they're no. good. <laughs> they can go straight to hell. I've never even heard of that. I don't know. I don't know. They may be good. So what's the secret? What is the no, secret? <laughs> what is the secret? What's that? I said, does he own that other one, too? He's promoting the other beef place? Yeah. Promo- yeah. Geez, that's <laughs> confidence. No, see? see he's, he's, too, he's too young. you got to tell him all the other. Come ask on, me, man. Fair. Ask me about another radio show. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking money and food from my kids. I want them to get sick and go to hell. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Brandmeyer with his rub on tan and his fake, fakety, fake <laughs> BS. Oh. That guy, that guy, I, I, uh, Brandmeyer worked across. He's a radio guy. Worked across the hallway. Nobody Look at me, fax me. If if this guy, this guy right here, stand stand up here, stand up here. This guy, this guy, this close. If you worked with with Johnny, hey Johnny B, regular guy. If you worked with him, you had to fax him. He had curtains around him. You couldn't talk to him. He had to have a separate entrance from everybody else. So when I worked with him, he had to have an entrance just for himself. And then he would hand out pictures of himself that were twenty years old. He had a, he had a fam he had a family, and uh, I'm not even gonna say this, but. It, it, it just awful. Uh, just not his family was awful. Just he's an awful to me, my opinion, an awful human being, and and uh, and and just just the biggest. And then he would get on the radio. He was just just in L.A., you know, acting like he's a mentally challenged son of Mary Tyler Moore on some lousy show. 
He's like, he's got makeup on. You'd see him in, you'd see him in the bathroom. He'd be like, and it would look like the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> he's handing out these pictures. Nobody's allowed to talk to him. Nobody's allowed to look him in the eye. And then he would go on the radio. I'll tell you, I just went fishing in Fond du Lac. And I'm just a good old boy. And I thought, what a, what a fake. What a jerk. <laughs> Me, I'm honest. I say what I really think. Oh, man, cow. Oh, he's dangerous. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. You believe in God, guns, and guts in the modern era, that's dangerous. And I really believe in these things. I do believe in a higher power. I do believe I should have a gun to protect myself with uh, myself and my family when we've got that's 400. Right. Today. Especially if you're at a funeral. Today, at a funeral, there was a shooting yesterday. 463 murders in my neighborhood. And they're, this government's telling me I can't have a gun. No, I won't say uh -oh. it again then. I won't say it again then. I didn't know. Uh, anyway. Mr. God, beef is good, though. Mr. Beef Mr. is good. Mr. Beef is spectacular. Can we get a shot of the beef here coming up? Coming up, we'll get it. You should have footage of Leno eating there and it just dripping down that long chin, that, that juice. It takes a half hour. Or Ron Jeremy. <laughs> he just Anticipation. Do you know he can eat his own Mr. Beef? Oh. <laughs> seen that. Do you ever have your wife call you that at home? No. <laughs> call me Mr. Beef. No, this he is Mr. Beef now. Look at that. You got the sweet on there. You got the hot. You got it. Oh, look at that. That's nice. You just want to put my, I just want to put my face in there and go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Head out on the highway. This song was number one on this day, 1968. And whatever comes our way. Yeah, darling, we'll make it happen. You know, I'm just razzing you. You've always been very, you know. You've been you've razzed me over the years. Yeah, that's fine. That's right. fine. It's fair game. Fair game. I'm in your restaurant. Though. Radio. <laughs> radio. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the guy on the radio. Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> Big Here deal, man. Big deal. You ever heard the Beastie Boys, man? Well, I've interviewed him, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> could, could, could not impress the kid. <laughs> hey, hey, who do you like, kid? Oh, I like Green Day. Well, they were in my studio today. Yeah. Big <laughs> deal. <laughs> Here's your sandwich. You know, next, some you, know you know, next, you know, next, you know, next time I'm in there, what I'm gonna get? Here, yeah. Here's your sandwich. Hey, thanks for having me on your little TV show. Uh, yeah. There you go. There's Special your, sauce. There's your sandwich.